Hello, Earth Angel. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much for joining me here for this beautiful Starseed Lightworker Collective Reading. This is an energy check-in, and this is for anyone who is on a spiritual growth path, who is on the path of ascension, who wants to check in on the energies and where you're at and receive some messages and some encouragement and some guidance from spirit, perhaps. Um, along your way. So you don't have to identify as a star seed or a light worker, but generally I think a lot of you do. Um, and so we're just going to go with that theme. So please just take it as it resonates. And these messages are timeless. Whenever you land here, there are messages for you. And these are also general messages for the collective. So um, possibly not everything will resonate if something doesn't make sense or doesn't feel right. Please just leave that and know that it was for someone else. So thank you. Welcome. I'm excited you're here. I'm not really sure what is going to come through for you today. We're going to dive in and get some themes for what Spirit would like to talk about. This is an energy check-in for wherever you're at. We are, we're currently in the Lion's Gate. So again, this is a timeless reading, but there are Lion's Gate energies here. We're in the Lion's Gate until August 12th. It peaked on the 8th, which was beautiful and amazing. So um, powerful energies this year. We're still in these powerful energies. There's a lot of, um, what do I wanna say? Opportunities for manifestation right now. And it's, um, so it's a powerful time to really write down your, dreams, your intentions, what you really want to see happen in your life, but also for the collective right now, for the whole, for all of Gaia, uh, for all humanity. It's a wonderful time for us to manifest, and this is a really big shifting point. Things are going to be, um, we're in a whole other timeline after this portal or this lion's gate. So this is exciting times. Like I said, whenever you land on this reading, it's, um, you know, relevant. These energies are here. But if you're currently with me, then, you know, then this makes sense to you as well. So we're going to dive in and we're going to see, we're going to pull from some Oracle cards and from the tarot. I don't think I'm going to do any charms today because I'm going to try to make it, keep it relatively reasonable time length. So we're going to pull from the Lemurian deck first. And, um, sorry, that was... <laughs> And ask spirit, um, you know, what what is the theme here? What do we want to talk? What are we talking about? What is the collective experiencing? Who's tuning in right now? So I hope you're doing really well. Take some deep breaths and really just kind of center yourself. What does the collective need to hear, spirit? What are we experiencing right now? Thank you. Just one. Wow. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take them all. We've got Balanced Forces, beautiful card, especially with Venus Retrograde and so much happening in terms of balancing the masculine and the feminine within us and within our lives and within our relationships. Balanced Forces. We've got Freedom, and this is part of that theme too, which is why I took it. I'll explain that in a minute but with that beautiful dragonfly I love these images and we have journey to wholeness I think I have to cover her YouTube's a little bit um strict these days about nudity which is kind of interesting but on cards you know but whatever so journey to wholeness <clears throat> and I think that's okay if it's far enough away and then we have uh, the sound of the universe. I love this card too. This is I love them all, but these are these are fantastic cards. I love this start. This is such a great start for you. Um, let's see what do we have here. Oh, shine your light. Look at that on the back of the deck with the mermaid. Shine your light. You know, and I hardly ever get draw that card. Underneath that, we have water, the overflow. Yes, I do feel like this is a very abundant time for us right now. I don't even know where to put stuff right now. My area, my altar here is a little overflowing right now because I went to the gem show recently and I got a, and I haven't really 
um, organized everything. I'm just kind of enjoying everything being out. So I think I'm going to move this one, but I'll show you before I move it. This is Ocean Jasper Heart. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to have to move it though because I want the space. But Here we go. And this blue appetite, it matches the freedom card. Beautiful blue appetite, also have to move it. <laughs> so freedom, sound of the universe, journey to wholeness and shine your light. Wow, this is so beautiful. This is so great. I knew the messages were gonna be so powerful coming through today. I felt so relaxed starting. I don't even know if I said everything I was supposed to say in the intro, um, but if you need, if you would like a personal reading or anything, you know, any information about me, all my information is in the description box below. <clears throat> Please like this video and subscribe if you enjoy this content. It means so much to me and it really helps the channel grow. So this is like, oh, so beautiful, you guys. This energy. So what I wanted to say about the freedom card and this balanced forces is we are in this, um, oh my gosh, am I going to mess that up? No. Aries Libra, right? Yes. Aries Libra nodes right now. And that's all about um, freedom within our relationships. So really healing those ancestral and collective specifically, like maybe in your life personally as well, but especially collectively healing the wounds of codependency and um, feeling like relationships are off balance, you know, whether they're romantic relationships or just relationships with family and friends and even with yourself. Maybe we, you know, we have a tendency to bind ourselves to certain belief systems about ourselves or restrictions or habits. And we're really in a phase here energetically, an opportunity to really find more freedom and independence within the safety of balanced relationships. So part of how that is going to happen is through communication and bringing our heart, the, you know, through manifesting our truth, through our authentic expression, the sound of our, this is all about sound healing. And this card talks about us in the Ascension right now, being in the time of the Kali Yuga. And um, that's this time where a phase of healing on the planet that has been talked about, you know, that's kind of famous. You could, like I said, feel free to Google that rather than me trying to explain and, and doing a horrible job at it. So we're in this kind of phase that has been referred to as Kali Luga. And in this time, oh, and this adds up to a six, right? Yep. Which is again, balance. Um, and the heart, love, the expression, the true expression of who we are. So back to the Kali Luga, that during this time period in history, during this time phase in Ascension, one of the most powerful healing tools of this time, it's said, is sound healing and the use of sound and vibrational healing. And I think that we're experiencing that, many of us and feeling this, especially as uh, star seeds and light workers, way showers. We are, I think a lot of us are really drawn to the power of sound healing and light language and the telepathy that can come through, um, even just vibrations as in energy, you know, vibrational healing in that sense as well. This is a really powerful time. This is, we're being encouraged with this card coming out to lean. This is part of how we balance our lives and find more freedom is we really open our fifth chakra. We really open, um, it's really about like the heart, the throat, and the third eye and the crown all kind of opening together to bring through this true expression and manifestation. I mean, this is how we manifest is through the sound. And when I say the sound, I'm really feeling like your song, like the sound of your essence, the vibration that you are emitting actually creates a sound if we could hear that, you know, but we can feel it, we can sense it on some level. And so maybe if, if you are, you know, connected to music or sound healing or light language, you know, this is an encouragement for you to use that more. Or if you've been curious or wanting to <clears throat> discover those paths, this is an encouragement from your guides and angels to do that. It's going to bring you freedom and balance and it's going to bring you into this wholeness 
this journey that you're on to come into wholeness. It's really a shame I can't show that, but um, anyway. So with this balance chakras and expansion in this, like in this card, you're seeing like not only does she have the like rainbow chakra balance here, but there's all this abundance and all this growth. This is the journey to wholeness is, I feel like there's a message coming here through here for you too, of this journey is joyful and abundant and fertile and beautiful. Um, so, you know, shine your light. This is what it's all about. This is what it's, all of these energies are taking us more into this journey of shining more of our true expression, more of our light into the world, because that is what we're here to do, as you know. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what the mermaid oracle, the oracle of the mermaids, I believe that's what it's called, has to say. This is a great start. If this is resonating with you, please let me know. I feel like we're really, you know, having an opportunity to come into wholeness and that sense of independence in a bigger way. And feeling freer than ever to shine our light. Um, and this balance, if, this, if you're not feeling this, this is what you're being encouraged to do is really come into your authentic expression. Use your voice. Maybe use sound healing. Maybe use light language. But coming into balance so you are free. So you can feel, <clears throat> see my throat chakra. Uh, and it was start doing that from the beginning, actually. Um, so let's see what we have here. Yeah, vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. Vulnerability is a huge key to this, to this sound of the universe, to really expressing yourself and your truth. This is going to be the freedom too, the vulnerability. Where do I want to put that spirit? Okay, under freedom. Under freedom because it's the vulnerability that sets you free and allows you to express your truth. And that then allows you to come into wholeness. That then allows you to shine more of your light. And I'm being called to this. I got this over the, to share this with you guys too. I got this over the, oh, I'm so sorry. I knew that was going to happen. Maybe I'll have, remember to edit that sound out. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> got this over the weekend too. This is dragon's blood. Isn't that cool? And this is about protection. I think this is a resin from a tree. I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. But yeah, this is, um, I'm seeing it right over, you know, it's right over the shine your light. And so spirit wants you to know that you're protected through this whole thing, through you're allowed, you can be, you're safe to be vulnerable. I mean, obviously use discernment, right? You know, with certain people in certain situations, maybe it's not ideal, but overall in your life, I think that this is the journey. This is what's opening up for you through this Lion's Gate energy or whenever you're landing on this reading. This is what's opening up for you right now. You're really coming into your power. What else do want to say sisterhood this came out in the beginning when I was shuffling when I was setting up the space sisterhood friendship allies compatible souls loyalty joy and delight so of course this is not just about like if you're a man take this as it resonates but it's that energy of sisterhood of the divine feminine of community of having friends and allies and loyal supporters people who bring you joy and happiness or if you're feeling a little down or if you're feeling a little um, you know, off balance, you have a place, you have people who light you up, who are positive in your life, who make you feel free, loved and free, not loved and caged or loved and obligated, but loved and free, loved for who you are, people that you take joy with, that you are delighted to be around who lift you up, who see you in your true essence. Balanced forces, sisterhood. Because there's a school of fish here around those women with the light coming through. It's like a whole community of support. I mean, it's a, this time period is about you having more balance within your relationships in your communities and your friendships because you are finding this independent independence and freedom to be more of your authentic self to be more vulnerable to be more whole in the way you show up and to shine more of your light in your relationships in your life 
in general, even at work. Some of you are like doing this in a workplace where you thought that that was never going to be possible, but it's happening and it's amazing. So what else, please, Spirit, from the Mermaid? Dark glow. No. Um, just that top one, please. And I turned over Coral's Wisdom, so we're going to look at it. Um, yearning. Longing for someone. Undesired separation. Pining. And Coral's Wisdom. Colony. Delicacy. Fragility. Works, are cre works that are created over great periods of time. So I feel like this has to do with some of you. Oh, this is kind of, I'm feeling this over the, um, this I'm keeping here. This I feel like the yearning is longing, the undesired separation, pining. So this journey to wholeness, it's like you've been yearning for this deeper aspect of yourself, this to be able to shine more of your light, to be able to be more of you. You've been yearning for you. And maybe some of you have been struggling with yearning separation or in relationship. But either way, the message is the same. This journey to wholeness, the yearning, even if you're yearning for someone else, ultimately it's the mirror, you know. I know not in, doesn't feel like that sometimes in the moment, but the spiritual message is that you're all, we're always ultimately yearning for ourselves, for love, for the love of the divine, for spirit, you know, the beloved in the sense of how Rumi talks about the beloved and how Hafiz talks about the divine being the beloved, you know. So we are yearning for more of this in our lives and this is our journey to wholeness. And spirit wants you to know with the coral's wisdom here that this is a journey of time, you know. This isn't just something that you have done overnight, you know, but you're coming to a new place of stability with this. Because I'm being noticing the 33 here, as you're manifesting with your guides and angels, with the ascended masters, you're manifesting and you're balancing. This is number 40. You're building stability. You're coming into some sort of stability. There's not going to be, as you gain this freedom and this vulnerability and more feeling more support and more authenticity and more truth as this is happening in your life, this this whatever you know how like that existential yearning where it isn't always specific maybe it is showing up on the external as something specific yearning for a certain job or a certain you know a certain lot, career that lights you up or lighting for us uh, or lighting yearning for a certain house or a certain situation whatever it is or person all of those things with this journey to wholeness <laughs> and the way this spread is so far um, all of these things are just you yearning for more of you, a more whole version of you. And so it's like as you set yourself free, I think, from, oh, and look, we have 33 and 44. That's amazing. Shine your light is 44. So these are angel numbers. I would recommend, you know, whatever they mean to you, or you can Google them because everyone will get a different answer, or you can put them in your search engine, whatever your search engine is or if you have a book or something, but 33 and 44, this is, you are in a really divine blessed um, period right now. This is really a huge phase of coming into wholeness and releasing this feeling of what you need is outside of yourself or that what, because spirits reminding you, this is where this is talks about wisdom and great works over time. Meaning you, this is like, that reminds me of that card from, I think it's from, I can't remember which Rebecca Campbell deck it's from maybe the Starseed Oracle or she, or work your light where it's like, this is a, um, a lifetime, not a marathon. So it's like, <clears throat> you have been experienced this, you have been in this journey for a while, but you know, and you have been acquiring wisdom. You have been, um, yeah. You have been building this, and I this. I don't necessarily think there's a fragility here. I actually think that's a a vulnerability that you used you used to see as a fragility, and now you're starting to see this vulnerability as a strength, and this and, and as a freedom as you express your truth. So shine your light is number forty four. Some of you are um, resonate as Lemurian star seeds. A lot of Lemurian energy in this reading, and probably why I was drawn to um, 
the Lemurian Oracle and the Oracle of the Mermaids, both, to start off your reading because there's a lot of <clears throat> Lemurian energy. And I think that you're balancing it the, from, like, the, from those lifetimes, from those ancestral lines and shining more light, waking up to the encoding. That's what you're yearning for, some of you too, is yearning for these lifetimes, for these past lives or for pieces of your soul that you left in these past lives. And Spirit's saying the way there is through this vulnerability that will set you free through expressing your truth, through sound healing, through light language, through connecting with people who feel like soul family, who feel like support. This is gonna help balance you and help you come into this community in this place where you feel supported to shine more of your light. But ultimately it's you coming into this wholeness that really gives you permission for this. Yeah, and on the back of the deck we have a guide. And so more a guide, a mentor, a trustworthy ally. So two cards coming out about someone you can trust or allies, people in your life that you can trust that you can turn to when um, you need to be in this vulnerable place. Maybe you need to express this feeling of loneliness or yearning or like something's lost in your life. Um, because with the sound of the universe here, maybe this is something you need to write about or speak about or create artwork about or simply just talk with friends, these, these allies. And I'd like to get one more card for the sound of the universe, please. Whoa, okay. Air, wow. <laughs> Breathing deep, entering into life. Exchange of life bringing energies, wow. So again, there is this energy, there is this feeling of connection to other people, balanced forces, the yin and the yang. So for some of you, this is a deepening of a relationship, a specific relationship. But I think overall, there's this like, energy of your spiritual path, your path towards more freedom and wholeness in your life so that you are shining more of your light. And as we shine more of our light, we do enter with the sound of the universe and breathing, wow. So some of you also, I'm hearing breath work is really going to be a powerful way for you to um, release some of this old, I'm feeling with this longing and this yearning is like kind of past life energy too, karmic energy pulling on you. So um, there is this exchange of energies. So also working with other people, there's a strong emphasis here for you, beautiful earth angel, a strong emphasis on community, on support, on stability within and balance within your relationships and in your connection to others. This is gonna bring you a lot of abundance and a feeling of renewed life. And it's, it, I feel like your relationships are deepening. Like as you do this, you're going to have more quality relationships. And on the back of the deck, we have wave of power. Love this card, perfect for the, this is an ascension wave that we're in, a very powerful ascension wave. So this says a surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement. Yes, I really feel that you are in a time of movement overall. Beautiful movement, movement towards freedom and wholeness, a journey. That's the movement, <laughs> a journey even. So, oh, this is really beautiful. If this is resonating with you, please let me know. I'm excited for you. I mean, even if you want to leave me an emoji, I know sometimes you don't like to share per really personal stuff. I don't. <laughs> In the comments, always some people are totally comfortable with that, and bless you. <laughs> but I, I don't always like to. So, so even if you just want to share an emoji, um, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel, and it helps me know that you're... Um, identifying with these messages and getting something from them. I'm feeling, since I've opened up this reading today, just such a peaceful energy with this Lemurian energy here. It is very watery and feminine and soft. So I hope you're feeling that too. And I'm gonna draw from the, um, we're gonna use the Crystal Visions Tarot, another very soft, mystical, magical deck, very feminine crystal kind of deck. So what else, Spirit, would you like to share? with the collective today. What other messages do you have? This beautiful, beautiful souls here. We have the 10 of pentacles, wow. 
You are building towards your legacy. You are building towards stability, towards long-term stability in your life. Journey to wholeness. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Exactly. You are slow and steady building, like with a committed, solid, practical movement forward. Not rushing, thinking it through, but coming into this beautiful Four of Wands energy of like creating a set, like something to celebrate, a life to celebrate. And with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here, for some of you, this is about a relationship, or maybe even for some of you, this is a journey into, you're coming into a whole new level of stability in your relationship. So if you are in a romantic relationship, marriage, whatever, or something that a new relationship, any kind of connection like that, this is heading in a very positive direction. This is a journey of wholeness, not only with yourself, but in this relationship. So, and the key here is vulnerability and, and keeping your freedom, staying in, staying in balance with your free, freedom and expressing your authentic truth. And not being in this yearning energy, knowing that you are, you, you feel you are complete in yourself. And sometimes this is a journey, but you're doing it. You're learning how to really ground yourself in your own energy so that you can build true stability in your life, in your relationships. And so then moving out of this message being for people in romantic relationships in general, this is about you building more stability and love and commitment within your relationships, in your life, with your life in general, your relationship to your life. You're becoming more committed to yourself. You're building a foundation, you're committing, you're celebrating, you're, you're making a vow to this new, to this new direction. And look, I love there's like a castle in the background. It's so pretty, so peaceful, just like, so this is how you get there. I feel like this is what this reading is about for a lot of you, is this reminder of letting you know, because you're right here. And the only thing I'm really feeling even that's like, here that that would be pulling you in a direction that isn't healthy would be this yearning feeling and that's what you're healing that's what you're balancing because and that's what's been taking away the freedom too is not feeling secure and feeling like something's missing and i think when you're vulnerable about some of this too to yourself or to others and this is a a reading a spread that's a lot about sharing a lot about expressing there's nothing really here that's saying hold back don't move forward but the energy of the cards that are encouraging you to move forward are encouraging you to move forward slowly with a grounded energy that can really um show up and be consistent and build something solid to be celebrated and that can last that can really generate stability and growth and positive um development in your life so I just, there's so many, I just suddenly felt whew, a huge download of all these different stories coming through. So there's many people watching this and there's a lot. So take this as it resonates, but I feel like these mess messages are hitting the point across the board. I can see like all these different scenarios. And for some of you, these are, a few, you know, a, a message that's on a few different layers in your life. So take it as it resonates. And on the back of the deck, we have the three of wands. So yeah, you're about to step forward into this. This is telling me that for a lot of you, you're just stepping into this. So this is why these messages are coming through right now. This is something you've been seeing that you've been planning, just waiting for the right moment to, to, to see certain opportunities or step into certain things. But this is on the horizon. You're doing it, you're seeing it, it's coming. Um, and this is why all these messages have been coming out the way they have for you today. So we're just gonna get a few more Oracle cards. And yeah. What else please, Spirit? Whoa, <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, okay, we'll take them both. 
So we've got Miracles, one of my favorite cards in this whole deck, Rainbow Waterfall. Lots of rainbow codes coming in right now. We had water on the back of the Lemurian deck. So for some of you, there is this water energy and breathe, air. So balancing, cleansing, using water to ground and cleanse. But this is beautiful promise of, with that um, butterfly there. Transformation, the promise of growth and abundance and yeah, the, the, with the, again, that journey, I keep saying it, but the journey to wholeness energy. Oh, two butterflies, three butterflies. <laughs> Red, yellow, and purple. So we have, you know, first chakra, solar plexus, third chakra, and then third eye, the sixth chakra. Yeah, again, that's a balanced energy. There's a balancing here. There's miracles coming through for you through this activation, spirit guardian of spring activation. And I do feel like, and like I said, a rainbow light activation coming in. This is a, so allow yourself to receive this again with the sound of the universe too. I do feel like there's an activation energy in that. And I know, like I mentioned, we are in the lion's gate. So there are a lot of activations coming through right now. And when you can really, um, that's why these messages are coming through from spirit the way they are is this encouragement for you to use these activations in a way that really benefits you because there are miracles here for you. Think another four, there's just so much stability. I'm seeing fours all over your reading. <clears throat> so much stability coming for you, happening for you in your life right now through these energies. Remember balanced forces came out, which is a 19 by the way. shuffle we're going to look at the work your light deck and then i think i'm going to pull advice for you from uh, louise hayes power thoughts deck and i think we'll probably close there so just a few more messages here whoa no not, <laughs> not that a few more messages please spirit for beautiful collective who is listening right now who viewer, listener, however you're doing it. That's why I try to tell you uh, what comes out too. I try to remember to speak what's here visually as much as often I can because I know a lot of times I'm listening to readings and not watching them. What else, please, Spirit, for this beautiful collective? I almost said group three. That's funny. I am going to do a pick a card reading next week for those of you who watch the Moon Face pick a card readings. I'll be doing that next week and I have been releasing a lot of light language videos recently and I'm planning to do a lot more. I'm finally getting inspired in that direction again. We have transformation, like I said, with the with the butterflies here. Transformation, things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. You are going through this activation, this deep healing phase right now. So spirit wants you to know that, know that. And with the spirals in her hand, I do feel like there's just so many light codes moving through right now for you. Transformational, deep cellular. So whenever this card comes out, I always feel called to remind you to take care of yourself. Some of you are connected to Basat or, you know, the feline beings. I'm just really drawn to this little feline next to her. And I've actually never seen that in this card before. So some of you are connected to that. So know that you are healing on a really deep level right now. And it's okay to take time to rest if you need to rest is the message I always get with that card because uh, cellular healing, you know, deep transformational healing. And we did have this freedom card, vulnerability, the butterflies, all this activation. When we're going through these transformations and these ascension upgrades, we... We can definitely um, need extra rest. So, and then our, I feel like the collective, you know, kind of culture is, you know, the energy, the messages a lot of times encourages, encourages, enc encouraging us not to rest. And so just know that you have permission. You have permission to rest. Right now, there's a lot of energy coming in. There's a, there will be time to move and, and you're just in the verge of some movement, some solid grounded movement. So rest if you need to rest. What else, please, Spirit? What else would you like to share with the collective? 
We have Lemuria. What did I say? This is such a Lemurian reading today. So creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Yeah, that's what you're doing. This journey to wholeness, balanced forces, freedom, like independence through love and through, out, through community and companionship, like still having a connection to others and to spirit, but also not losing yourself in that. So Lemuria, so whether, so a whole bunch of you listening to this, you're, you're a Lemurian starseed or identify with that, or you know that you've had past lives in Lemuria. It's a big Lemurian group here. And if you don't resonate with that, that's totally fine. That doesn't mean these messages aren't for you, especially if they've been resonating. Um, it's just that there's a large amount of you connecting to this reading that are Lemurian star seeds and who have had lifetimes in Lemuria and I have too. So I really feel this and I'm really feeling this energy today and that's probably why I felt so peaceful starting. And you know, I showed you the ocean Jasper and I've been really feeling ocean energy and we did get the water energy in this reading. So I feel like that's a message too, you know, connect with water right now. I feel like it's going to be extremely helpful for you really healing for you right now and to help you really feel like there's you know energy coming back into your like a revitalization energy that's what I'm trying to say and so know that you are creating heaven on earth it's happening you are creating your highest timeline you're coming into balance you're coming into wholeness you are healing timelines and karmic patterns from Lemuria from past lives not just your lifetimes but collectively ancestrally and there's an activation, so there's a real, that's what I just got too, there's a Lemurian activation. And we did get this mermaid too, so there's a Lemurian activation coming through this reading today strongly. So um, know that you have received whatever is for your highest good, you know. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But the, their spirit wants you to know that you're being activated and there are miracles coming through. You are literally creating heaven on earth, not just for yourself, but for you're helping the collective create it. So thank you. Thank you. This is definitely a star seed light worker reading because that's what we're here to do. That's what we're doing. And I'm so grateful to have all of you here with me doing this with me. Like I said, if you if you are not subscribed and this is the first time you've been here and you're still here listening to this and this is all resonating, I would love for you to subscribe and join this community and be a part of these energies that come through. And because we're talking about all this ocean energy and Lemuria, I just also want to show you that I got these beautiful coral at the gem show as well. Look at the back. So if you're a Lemurian star seed, you're probably gonna like this, this stone. I really love it. It's so whimsical and beautiful the way it does that little swirl. I got a couple of them. So yeah, a lot of Lemurian energy. And then on the back of the deck, we have Imrama. Mm. Where are you being called to journey to? And I feel like this question is not just a question about where are you feeling called to journey to on the planet, which might be relevant for some of you, but where are you being called to journey to within your soul? This is about, remember I keep like through this whole reading, I'm just hearing this over and over again. I'm hearing this about this card here, this journey to wholeness, journey to wholeness. And Interestingly, we have vulnerability here, and I'm just like, I'm kind of like, oh, I can't show you the card because of YouTube's guidelines. I can't keep holding it up there. But, you know, how interesting that vulnerability came out, and she's naked. There's this vulnerability that, you know, we feel pressure from the world or society or whatever. Um, belief systems within ourselves to hide certain aspects of ourselves, to be ashamed of our nakedness metaphorically and so we're being encouraged we're being activated to step out of that and to know that that as we shine our light as we take that risk as we step forward we are activated we are we heal deeply we transform and these miracles come into our life so the question here is is where are you being called to journey to within yourself what parts of you have you 
forgotten or have you set aside? Have you decided aren't valuable or good enough that you've decided you maybe you should leave behind or be ashamed of? And Spirit's saying, no, there are people in your life who will see all of you. It's your freedom to express all of you, shining your light and letting go of those in your life that don't want to create this heaven on earth with you that don't want to be a part of this journey with you and it's okay it's all aligned and maybe that's why there feels like there's some fragility here but there's wisdom here there's wisdom in creating a great work over time and in this case that great work over time is you and your life in this life in this incarnation and so you're creating heaven on earth you're creating stability Literally, I mean, with the Ten of Wands, uh, sorry, no, not the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's been burdens in the past, but with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here, you're li these, these two cards together are literally like creating heaven on earth. And I'm going to, all right, let me take this one out and Rama, although I don't know where to put it, we'll put it here. And then it says under that, I, t I removed Imrama, and of course, I just can't stop. <laughs> so trust your path. If you knew you, I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. So this is an incredible question to ask yourself. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? This is so important. And this is the miracles are coming through. Where are you being called to journey to? What are you being called to do? What are you being asked to step forward into? If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And this is your encouragement, you know, with discernment, you know, use your intuition. But this is your encouragement to do it, to take that step. And this Knight of Pentacles, you know, he moves forward slowly, but in a really safe and solid way that creates something solid and beautiful. And so you're being asked to move forward, but move forward with trust trusting that you can put your each foot in front of the other and that the ground will be solid because if you knew you were supported a lot of times we don't take these steps these freedom this you know see this seize this freedom this authenticity or this wholeness within our lives because we're afraid of being judged or not supported and in this reading has very much been saying no you will be supported there's there are people in your life, there are communities for some of you in your life that are supporting you. So in the universe, this is the, this is a message that the universe is also supporting you. So I know I have used this card in this, in this energy before many, you know, several times in my life where I've told myself, you, you know, well, I can't do that because I don't have the money or I can't do that because I don't have the, the health or I'm not in good enough shape or I'm not this or I'm not that, whatever the story was in the moment, right? And then um, with this card, like really challenging myself as I drew this card, like, wait, if I knew I would be supported, what would I do? And that's really stepping into manifestation energy of like, okay, let me just, and, and you know what? And I did, I act as if it, I acted in those situations as if I was supported and it flowed, it worked out. The abundance came, the support came. And so you're really being encouraged to trust yourself and to trust um that you know deep within you how to how to how to create this heaven on earth for yourself or more of it and you know the steps to take it's just a matter of trusting the ground that you're stepping forward on and so i feel like there have been a lot of messages in this reading here today encouraging you and showing you the way for this because you know, spirit, we do live, I truly believe we do live in a benevolent universe. And spirit really does. Our guides and angels, the Gaia, all the energies, beautiful light energies around us all the time really want everything in this world to grow and evolve. That is the natural way of life is to grow and evolve. And so um, this is what's happening for us as we surrender, as we don't fight it as we allow our true expression to unfold, as we allow this deep healing to take place, um, this deep soul healing, for some of you, you're really doing some really intense work. A lot of you, most of you are doing really deep healing right now and um, you're creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Remember this card says Lemuria, it's happening. And maybe that's why we got such a Lemurian theme here today is because many of us remember no Lemuria to be a place that was 
what we would consider like heaven on earth or Eden, you know, like this just beautiful, abundant, fruitful, loving place. And so this is what we are here as a collective co-creating. We're bringing these energies back. And that is a huge part of what is coming through this Lionsgate portal through, you know, July 26th to August 12th. But, you know, in general, whenever you land on this reading, the, this is part of the Ascension energies in general. And this is part of the waves and the journeys. I think we got wave at one point too. This, this is the yeah surge of power. This is part of the journey we're on and we are going to keep moving through levels and layers and multi-dimensional layers of this journey to wholeness and it's really exciting and yeah i love it and i feel these energies and these messages for myself as well here today so i'm really grateful for you thank you for joining me here thank you for allowing me to read for you and thank you for being so beautiful for doing such amazing work for being such a like light on the planet and really um helping helping to create heaven on earth here, um, create the new earth and the new paradigm. So I love you all. And thank you again for being here with me. And I hope these messages resonated for you. Please let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the things that help. I'm so grateful for you. I'm also available for light language transmissions and personal readings. All that information is in the description box below. I'm sending you so much love, wishing you the very best, many blessings. I just logged off of the video, I just closed the reading, <laughs> and then I realized that I had told you that I was going to draw from Louise Hay's Power Thoughts deck, and so, you know, most of you probably don't care, um, and maybe have already tuned off of this, turned off of this reading, but... I just wanted to come back on for those who really love Louise Hayes' deck and really wanted to see what came out of this. So yeah, I'm going to draw a couple cards here for you, those of you, and I bet it's a small amount who came, who are stayed for this. Okay, so <laughs> let's get a couple messages, please, Spirit, final messages for this beautiful collective that stuck around for the Louise Hay guidance. Power thoughts. What do you, would you like to share with this beautiful collective? We have... I prosper wherever I turn, and doesn't that go beautifully along with this reading? I prosper wherever I turn. I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed, and I am, and wait, I am blessed and prospered. You can see the reflection of the fan spinning in that. That's funny. Okay. Um, I hope that wasn't happening with the other cards. I just now noticed that. Anyway, beautiful. I prosper wherever I turn. Okay, we'll get one more. Thank you. I open new doors to life. Yep, that fits for this too. I rejoice in what I have, and I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. Trust. There's that energy of trust again. Okay, thank you so much. Those are your Louise Hay power thoughts for this collective reading. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to leave that out for those of you who really love her and this deck. I know a lot of you have this deck. So anyway, thank you so much. And again, I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you next time. Blessings.